Oh yes, welcome to the History on Drive. Welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. Today we have a very special treat for you. It's a huge, massive uh, German bunk, uh, gun bunker on the Atlantic Wall. It's been shot for decades and boom, suddenly me and Eagle Eyes came through this area and boom, it is open. We managed to get inside and we are going to show you some very, very fascinating details and it's untouched, no graffiti and crap, so that's gonna be absolutely amazing. Did you know that we have hundreds of videos for you out there so you can enjoy? When we like to tell you that it is easy to subscribe, and if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell icon, you get a little menu, tick off all, and then you will be notified every time we release a new video. If you only subscribe, you will just get randomly, once in a while, a new notification of new material, but if you hit the notification bell, tick off all, you will get them each and every time. And when you watch the videos, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, a thumbs down, comment, share, watch the videos in full, you will definitely help us out. But now, Let's go back in time. Let's enter this incredible German Atlantic Wall gun position, which is huge. And there are some secrets there still, even today. So join us and let's go out and find history together right now. So, are you ready to go back in time? Ready to see how it really looked in one of the largest gun bunkers that the Germans had on the Atlantic Wall? Three, two, one, boom. This is the opening to a very, very special bunker, which is actually has been sealed for many, many years. But behind those doors, what the f What was that? <laughs> what the heck was that? All right, that's a massive sound. I don't know what that is, but you probably could hear it. Nevertheless, <laughs> we are here absolutely alone and we are starting right here. So to the right, we have a room which could have been, smells very much like gasoline or kerosene here. So I guess there could have been some kind of storage tanks. And remember guys, this is a incredible, big bunker where there were quite a lot of crews and each and every room here is just absolutely incredible because there are a lot of artifacts still hanging down from the roof on the walls and we're going to show you a lot of that there's a lot of echo in here so bear with me but there you can see the tubes still hanging here and I guess you could actually can you hold that please and shine it up there? Let me see if that can be turned. Oh my goodness. So I'm guessing that is fire equipment because it's marked with red color and it's still turnable. All right, we're gonna go up and into those doors. Well, let's see. Eagle eyes. Gonna open the doors. We have a second one here. Boom. And let me show you how big this place is. It is absolutely spectacular. And there are so many. Can you hold on? Stay there, please. I'm going to show them this. There are so many features here that you won't believe it. First of all, the munition train was actually running inside of the bunker. You can see the train will actually come in from here but that is completely sealed off. There is a sign up there and everywhere. You can see the huge ventilation and all of the gear. Like here is electrical connector still on the wall. And there are like tons of tubes and things everywhere. So it's just amazing. So when we come up to this hallway, I'm gonna show you something really cool. You see here, the train would be able to switch directions here and it ran all the way down there. And look at the size of this place here. This is absolutely crazy. So we're gonna first go through
through some of the rooms that are left right here. Then we're going to see the loading chamber where all the munition and rounds were. We're going to see some technical stuff and wow, this is amazing. See here on the top, look at that insane dimension of the ventilation thing there. And it runs completely all the way down the full length of this facility. And I just wanted to see, look at that. That is so big. And it once upon a time came in here. Someone has actually shot it and that's a bad idea. They should have had the ventilation coming through here. Okay, so we have a room here. And this room seems to have been some kind of storage for maybe a tank or something. And there are some huge tubes. I'm guessing that is to push air through the system. Don't want to fall in there. There's a lot of stuff down there actually. Ha, huh, they just threw it in there. Same here, huge pit with a lot of stuff inside actually. Is that a helmet? No. Underneath there? No. I don't know. <laughs> There are holders and stuff. You can see here, this gear is still on the wall. It's absolutely amazing to see how much stuff was here. And what is that thing there? I haven't seen anything like that. What do you think that is, a valve? No. Mm, I don't know. There's one of the overpressure valves that's been taken off by someone. Alright, let's continue. So, this is the end. The trek would not go any further. Don't go in there, that is like pure oil. Okay, so let's go a little bit back and forth here and we'll check out what's here. Absolutely amazing spot. We're going to have to be careful with the batteries and the torches. They do last a long time, but wow. This is a huge place. Another room with the gear still here. Can you try this valve, Eagle Eyes? Try that valve, and see if it works. Just try and turn it. Use both your hands, yeah. come on, both ways. Yeah, it's, it's stuck? Yeah. You see here, these tubes are green. So that is maybe and that thing is blue, maybe blue air. Is blue is for air. Maybe air out and air in. Water is blue. This is not water, this is air. And what you have here could be fuel. Fuel. Maybe fuel for yeah, generators. Yeah. But that one, that one will probably turn. But Holy what is cow. Yellow for? I'm not sure yellow looks like air supply. No. I know they color coded it. You can see that thing is blue. So, wow, what a spot, what a spot. In there are the chambers where they load the ammunition to the guns. And you can see the railroad track still runs here. I'm gonna get it a little bit higher. Let me see, one, what's going on here? I'm not sure what's going on here. Give me a second there. Oh, I think that's enough. Okay, we'll use that. Wow, look at this place here. Oh, there is one of the hangers for the electrical connectors. Right there, what do you have? A baby. Okay, so this is one of the uh, hangers for the cables in the bunker. Can you hold that for me, please? I think we're gonna get that. And here again, I'm gonna put in the backpack. Wow, tubes everywhere. Yeah, put it in the outer room. And see there, they, they heated the whole bunker with the heated water. So they had circulation of warm water. And this is one of the ovens where they could, uh, let me see. Does that work? No, but they can regulate the flow. They can regulate the flow. Wow, you made it work. 
careful, it's going to be too hot in here. <laughs> but it's nice in here because it's like 27 degrees outside. Yeah, there's one of the... Uh, this is one of the pressure valves. Maybe you can show them how that works. Push it inwards, inwards, inwards. Yeah, and out. That's a good one, they can see that. So if there's a pressure wave coming from the outside, Definitely. let it be open, put it, this is the position would be, and if this is a blast from a bomb on the outside, boom, it will shut and prevent there from being a shock wave going through the bunker. Holy cow, this place is amazing. All right, let's continue. So everything on this side, that's where the munition and the huge shells were. I'm going to show you a couple of features. You can see the shells would actually be transported on these huge beams and there are doors in between that can be locked. So it's absolutely amazing. More ventilation sh uh, shafts and tubes and uh, another room another room and you see all of these doors they are original just as they were built by the germans and i think yeah do you see that they are actually they, they can be locked so with the outside yeah there's a proper thing here for for um, for the lock very nice again a huge room and inside here, it would be actually very cozy. There's another one of the, uh, that's a bigger one. Can you try it? See what works? See how smooth that works? Wow, it's in very good condition. Very good. Uh, just wipe it off your, your trousers. All right. And remember guys, this has been shut off for more than 50 years. And someone managed to kind of bridge it because it's concreted shut and uh, now it is actually accessible. Holy cow, look at the size of this place. Is this another exit? Yeah, yeah you can see the railroad track. Yeah, you can see the railroad tracks go in there and there's a turntable. Let me, let me show it to you. There's a turntable and the uh, little diesel train would come in here and this is the end. We were just here. So let's have a look over here. You see there? This thing is to shut the doors. So we'll be shut on, on towards those. All right, let's check in here as well. Wow, you can actually see the paint scheme. So you see the, the, the line there? That is original. And these were very nicely decorated inside. And they had different kind of layers of paint. And I do think I know what this is. There's another heater. Is that adjustable? Oh my God, it is. This is actually the toilet. toilet. This is where they had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, a lot of toilets here. This is where they did their business. And another set of tubes going to the wall. So the toilets were right here on a row. Wait, wait, this is not the toilet. This is where they peed because the sitting toilets were not here. This is the urinal where they uh, did that. Wow. And there's another oven behind here. You can see here, you can see the paint scheme. There was yellow once upon a time. There was red and all of these lines. This could be a, no, this is where the sink was. They washed their hands here. This is where they washed their hands. And the shower room would be somewhere else. It's not here. This is for the sinks. You can see the attachment for each and every sink along the wall. And this is where the water would come out. And you can see they took away all of these and there are some pieces laying down. They had running hot and warm water in here guys and girls in the 40s that was a super luxury luxury in this area so just imagine the locals coming in here after being able to get inside and then suddenly say that the germans had running tap water warm and cold another room which looks very much like something 
maybe a generator or filtration room, air pump room. There's a lot of tubes that's been cut up there. Oh, this is amazing to be honest. Another, you see that? Color coded, blue. Something on the top there, I don't know what that is. Huge pipes. This is, looks like a, a, a hand pump okay. system to hand pump air inside. I think that was it. Since there's a huge pipe coming in there, I'm guessing they draw the air inside here. All right, we're coming back towards the uh, gunpowder and loading room. There's a room here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Wow. It's the same thing here. Some, oh, it smells a lot like diesel or something in here. Yeah, it smells a lot like oil. Yeah, diesel. Look at the beetle. Hi. He's living here now. This is his home. <laughs> wow. I wonder what could be inside some of these tubes here. Huh? Be interesting to check them out. And also, a lot of gear was once upon a time there. Frames are still there. Yellow pipe. Is that air going out, perhaps? Maybe. I think the blue is air coming in, fresh air, and yellow is kind of used air, I'm not sure. And you can see the, uh, the beautiful shutter. Each and every door had a blast door here. Oh, it's a blast door. Okay, so now we are in the end of the long hall. Okay, I'm gonna show them. Um, I'm looking for one specific room. Let's go to the other end here. I'm, I'm looking for a kind of a utility room or something like that. Let's have a look and see if it's over here. Oh yes, we are gonna go up this hallway and we're gonna find some really interesting rooms here. And Eagle Eyes, he found something really, really fascinating in the munition room. We didn't expect that. There are something on the wall there. You just have to see it. It's absolutely spectacular. In the meantime, um, we will put a link in the video description for part two. That will be almost like 20 minutes, second episode coming out. But in the meantime, as I said, subscribe, do click that icon, the bell icon and choose all. And then you will get all our videos when they come out by a little notification by YouTube. You have to make it allowed to do that and then it's fixed. Give us a like, a thumbs up or down comment, share, watch the videos in full. And if you kind of watch the ads, well, it definitely helps us out. We also want to say a huge thank you to our patron team members. You are the guys and girls with the uh, PayPal donators who helps us out to reach targets like this. This is very rare. One of the largest gun positions on the Atlantic walls. Been shot for decades. You've seen we managed to get inside and part two will really reveal quite a lot more and I think you're gonna enjoy that. In the meantime, stay safe, keep smiling and I'll put the link to the next episode in the video description, you can see that. And if you're notified, you know, you will get a message saying that we are out there again. In the meantime, thank you very much and uh, goodbye.